Well, candidates for Wisconsin's 8th congressional seat met for a debate tonight. Three Republicans vying for votes ahead of the August primary, the uh, seat that's empty right now after Mike Gallagher unexpectedly resigned. Local 5's Paul Stino was at the debate and has a recap. Three Republican candidates for Wisconsin's 8th congressional district, all billing themselves as strong conservatives. But what makes each stand out? I'm the one that at my own political peril, uh, have targeted the establishment and the special interests. I'm a 25-year home builder, 20-year veteran in the National Guard here in Wisconsin with four deployments to the Middle East. I'm the guy that can go to Washington and represent this party. And I want to put everything I have, my wife and I are all in, we've done everything together, to serve each and every one of you. And again, I'm not a politician, I'm not a career politician. The candidates peppered with questions, testing their conservative credentials. Andre Jock flexing his endorsements from local sheriffs and conservative groups, taking exception when Tony Weed called him a never Trumper. Andre Jock is actively working against the Trump endorsed candidate. He has worked against President Trump. So because I don't support Tony Weed, I'm a never Trumper, according to Tony Weed. Roger Roth, mostly staying out of the back and forth, sticking to his message. Scott Walker, who is endorsing me in this race as the principal conservative to go out to Washington and work with President Trump. Tony Weed, a businessman who owned the Dino Stop gas station chain, has been endorsed by Donald Trump. Career politicians are absolutely failing us, and that is what has got me off the sidelines. The primary is next month. What I hope people take away is, look, I'm a, an outsider. I ran businesses, successfully small family businesses. I think clearly I show that I'm the candidate with the proven conservative record. And I'm just excited to be able to bring my vision for the future of this nation here to the voters of the 8th District, and the response we're getting is overwhelming. In Green Bay, Paul Stino, Local 5 News.